minutes of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! Welcome back to the Tidy Ringer. This is Mike. Today I want to come at you with the biggest, absolute biggest haul video I've ever made, ever. And uh, so much stuff. This is three months worth of BBTS stocked up. I ship it all at once, four bucks, and I've never had them ship it in multiple boxes because it's such a big order. In fact, the tax on it was 200 bucks. Anyway, we're going to go through all of this, and then I've got some other things I picked up at other places. I'm trying not to spill over any other videos, but man, there's just so much. The biggest haul video I've ever made. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it helped you out, and I'm going to tell you why I bought stuff for full price, why I'm waiting on some sales on some of this stuff, but this is just uh, a lot. And I've held on to some stuff over the past three months to make this video. So this is three months in the working. I won't have another video like this for another three months, but I don't think it'll be anywhere this big or this impactful. We'll talk about this and more coming up. All right, so I'm gonna start this video with trying to do some process of elimination and get rid of some stuff off the table so I can use it for other things, bigger things that are coming. But I got this at Target just like a day or two ago. And uh, this is the Earl Sinclair. This is the We Say So. It is work. Get up. And I wasn't going to buy it and order it from BBTS or anything, but I got it from Target. And I bought a couple things at Target. I had a 10% off coupon plus the 5% red card plus it was only 35 and in my mind, I was thinking this was an SDCC exclusive. I guess it wasn't. The SDCC exclusive is the super guy. And I think today's the last day to get that super version of him and the super version of uh, Alf. But anyway, still a pretty cool looking figure overall. And uh, another thing I picked up, so I'm going to kind of lump these together. I got this at, uh, what is it, Ross for 13 Now, I wasn't going to buy the statue for 30 but for 13 it's fine. And I'm going to just take it out of the package put it in my collection uh, on my shelf and probably just toss the package. I'm gonna start tossing packaging for stuff I open and display uh, going forward. I'm running out of space to store empty packaging for stuff that's actually ultimately gonna be worthless in the future, like this. I think the packaging for this is worthless. The figure might still hold its $13 value. We'll see. Next, we're gonna get into superpower stuff, which I'm getting back on track. I did, thanks to one of my viewers, and I've got to go back and thank them in the comments, but I jumped over to Entertainment Earth and was able to get the Black Manta. Black Manta was by itself, so I ordered a, a couple of those and a couple beachcombers that are unreleased, and so free shipping on that, but no discounts. Um, I guess I'm tired of waiting for the in-stock discounts. This is the bug for superpowers, and it looks pretty good. And I think this was like 30 bucks, not a big deal. I, I, I was going to find a cheaper one somewhere down the road and open it, haven't seen this at Walmart at all, and I know some people have, but if I can find a cheaper one, I mean, with this size, the Supermobile was like seven bucks at Walmart for a while. Now, I did get these four figures here, too. Now, here's what I'm going to say about these figures. I saw them at GameStop, and I paid, I already had them $11.99 at uh, BBTS, and then I went ahead and kept my BBTS orders, and I was like, well, I'm not going to buy them for $9.50 because I have the Pro membership. And uh, I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to wait. Push that like expense down the road is what I was thinking. I don't want to spend that today and spend 40 bucks today. And then I ended up with this. So uh, this is the first of the major damages in my packaging. And I'm, I'm not happy with it for Brainiac. I mean, this is a pretty popular character. He looks cool as heck too. But uh, there's Brainiac. There's this Green Lantern, this giant Green Lantern dude. There's the beetle, the blue beetle, and then there is a Batman, which I don't know the significance of it, but anyway, this is the beginning of the damages. I've got three damaged items, and I'll show them all to you. All right, so I have the Dungeons and Dragons figures, War Duke and Strongheart. I got one of each. I had two of these pre-ordered, but I ended up getting a loose one, cheap, somewhere, and a oh, well, loose one on each of these, actually. So I canceled my extras and only have one sealed. And one loose, which is how I collect these days for stuff I really, really like. I absolutely love these. They look fantastic. Maybe I should one day do a review, but awesome, awesome figures. 
All right, this came from BBTS, 60 bucks, $60 for that. Um, the Dungeons & Dragons figures were like 32, but I got one of them at Target for $29.99. Anyway, so this is 60 from BBTS, and I will do a review on that. I have to review that. It's a Transformer kind of thing. I gotta, I gotta review it. This is the Werewolf from Ultra Beast. Not my favorite animal. I actually like the green dragon looking dude more, but I would like all of the the monsters and at least one, if not two, of the human version, and I could do a display. But till then, it stays in the package, it just waits. You know, Transformers, everyone thinks of my channel as a Transformers channel, I understand that. It's Transformers dominant, but not Transformers only. Now, I did get this at Target because it was 35 bucks and part of that 10% off deal that I had with that coupon. And uh, this was Amazon, I can't remember how, I think 45? I think 45. Amazon shipped it. I, it's one of those things. So I hate pre-ordering from Amazon because it just ships. You don't know your build. You don't know what's coming. It just shows up and you're like, let me go look at my credit card. Yep, they build it. And uh, But it's awesome. I, I'm so glad I got it. I, I don't think they're sold out yet or not. I'm going to try to find the link to this and uh, link it down below. It'll help my Amazon uh, stuff going on the affiliate. But great set if you like these buy them i do not see these going on clearance but i could be wrong if they do go on clearance i'm buying another one for sure amazing amazing they're doing deluxe insecticons now uh the last thing i didn't get a lot of transformers in my bbts so i did get this this is the five pack it's holding up a bunch of other stuff so i'm not pulling it out but the five pack which is outstanding they did it 109 is great it's back in socket uh I think Amazon, and I know for sure Pulse. So I'm a little disappointed in that in a way, but not, I don't really care. I got one for me and one for my son, and my son's working off this by doing yard work. He's got, by the way, uh, both my kids got some jobs outside over the weekend. So I got the Nemesis Bridge uh, Dramatic Capture Series Bridge set. I think it's an amazing set, but I haven't opened it yet. I mean, just the pictures online. I mean, as you can see, it takes time to get to all this stuff, but uh, this all showed up at once. Two giant boxes. I'm still processing it, but it's it's fun, exciting. Eventually, I'll get around to opening this, and it's an amazing set. And I think it's amazing price. I think it's sold out everywhere. All right, let me back this up a little bit. There's more here than I thought. Masters of the Universe. So I did get this uh, Revolution Hordak, and oddly enough, like I literally haven't put these figures. I haven't opened any, and I haven't put them away. I'm really waiting to see these at retail. I haven't seen these at retail much, but uh, my my package got damaged, really damaged. So this is another thing I was like, BBTS packed it really well. It had to be damaged for us put in there, but uh, this dude looks cool. I didn't, I don't buy everything now, Masters Universe. I'm picking and choosing. I love the cartoon he, uh, Merman, cartoon Merman, cartoon Evelyn. So I've got the cartoon He-Man and Skeletor. But uh, these figures look fantastic. And uh, I gotta take uh, stock on what I've actually bought for the cartoon line because I, I think I'm gonna be 100% on it. I'm fighting it with every ounce of my being because I can't collect everything in the world, guys. You think I do, but I don't. Like literally, those of you who have all of these are like, Mike, you're way behind. And I am way behind. Uh, I just thought I'd find a deal, steals and deals somewhere, but had to get cringer so this is the best cringer ever made in the universe not even maddie collector is better than this and i was going to drop like 50 or 60 bucks on a maddie collector one but every time i offered 60 people are like not 100 bro and and they like suck it so 30 bucks to get the best one ever this fits with your masterverse it's, it's like a vehicle it fits with your masterverse Speaking of vehicle, the collector is an awesome vehicle it's big i'm i'm actually surprised how big the box is and then i saw a couple of people review it and stuff uh looks great and this actually this picture shows how far behind i am because i think i i think i've trapped on beast man so one two maybe i have tila three four five at least five or six figures behind so i'm gonna have to take inventory of all that and get all that organized and order the rest but uh probably have to get through bbts because i can have them in stores very easily it's kind of challenge all right, so going from He-Man to Team NT and Team NT He-Man, I have this. Now, I had to get those from Amazon. Now, this was, so when I've just made a video talking about reviewers, and I talk about viewers also, a viewer said, Mike, this is on Amazon right now. And I'm like, really? So I ordered two, two got you free shipping. But it showed up, one of them showed up great, one of them showed up with some damage. 
and I'm just gonna live with it. I don't know. I don't know. Should I accept the damage? They packaged it real crappily. Skeletor, Michelangelo, Teal, and and to be honest, I'm not even 100% sure what all's in this wave. Does it show on the back? Um. Oh, Casey Jones. I'm missing a Casey Jones. So I got. I'm like way off on the waves. I'm so confused on this line. But that's what I picked up. That's what I got. I mean, uh, I guess uh, you get what you get. You don't throw a fit. And I guess you look a little harder next time, maybe. But Skeletor, Michelangelo, Tila. Gotta get it. Where's Casey Jones? Hold on. I knew I found a Casey Jones. So these other three were there. Those three were there one day. And the next day, Casey Jones was there. I do not know how Target operates. It makes no sense. If you wonder why I sound a little confused about this stuff, it's because I store it in bags with the receipts, and if I can take it back and get a better price on it, I do. They always help me out and take care of it. I've saved like $375 doing that so far this year. Anyway, this is uh, the turtle punk disguise. I'm trying to avoid turtles. I fought this like crazy, looking at it every day, but when it got to the last one, I bid on it. I bit on it, even though I think it's overpriced. I mean, it should be 130, not 150, but it's amazing. It's awesome. It's something you don't see every day. And I don't really collect the vintage turtles so much, although it's a bit of a lie because I have some videos coming, but I'm trying to stop with the turtle addiction. I'm done. I'm, I'm done being shell-shocked, but maybe not. <laughs> All right. If you order two of these Master of the Universe Origins Nice Talkers, I guess they send you an entire case made in Vietnam. Yeah, that's where I had some problems with some Transformers in Vietnam. Via freaking Nam. There it is. Two stalkers. I haven't opened it yet. And it's going to be, what do they call that? Sch Sch Schrodinger's box? I'll, I'll, I'll wait to open it. All right, G.I. Joe Classified. So I'm, I'm kind of going, I think I'm going in order of what it's, excites me. But the last thing, I'm, I've got mixed feelings on Star Wars at the end. G.I. Yeah, Joe Classified, I'm excited about it, but in a way not. Now, I passed on this uh, shooter figure for full price. I got it for 17 I think all these were like around 16 and some change or 17 bucks. So, 17 I got a second one of Shockwave. I paid full price for them originally. Uh, actually, I got it for BBTS, so like 26 bucks. So, I got an extra one on the sale, the 35% off sale. And I canceled the order on that got it for 35% off. So, I think it went from 45 down to like 30-something. Here's the thing. I did not buy the Crimson Team. The Crimson Team I was going to get on a sale, but I chose not to. I still haven't got it yet. I don't know if I'm going to get the Crimson Team. Even though I think it's cool, I haven't got the Crimson 3-pack team. You know, getting to the bigger stuff here. So I, I finally got this. And all right. Now let me go over my, my excitement and problems with it. I mean, I love this in the finish line. So I've done lots of YouTube videos talking about what I think that Hasbro should make. Make it mainline, make it a good price. 55 bucks, I think, is reasonable. I don't think it's ridiculous. But here's the problem. I bought two of these. They're out of stock forever. So from the time I ordered them, like a week later, they were out of stock. And then they show back up in stock when they start shipping. Now, I understand why. The reason is because some people don't pay for it or they cancel it. Or like, man, I'm in hard times right now because, well, just admit it, a lot of people are. But it's still one of my favorites. But I didn't pick up on any of these extras they had because of the fact that I just got sort of let's just say I got screwed on the trouble bubble so I love the trouble bubble I bought three of them right away but I bought two more when they were 35 bucks uh 35 percent off and 35 bucks 55 35 I love the trouble I've got six vintage ones and uh yeah it looks like uh I don't have a driver in this and it looks like Destro is extremely happy over here you know he's really happy but this is one of my favorite things. I mean, we need the claw, we need the the fang, we need all those small vehicles. And the, the, the bad guy stuff was the coolest back in the day. Anyway, super excited. But the fact that this went to 35, I assume this will too. But 2024 is a game changer. They're playing some games. But I don't know if Hasbro's playing the same games as Super 7 is. All right, so shininess out of the way here. We got some G.I. Joe Super 7 Ultimates. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, Super 7 Ultimates is my favorite part of G.I. Joe. Um, it, it's just hands down. They nail it. They nail it from day one. 
if they make it in the color you don't want just wait just wait on it now I've I found that some people have sold me some ridiculously cheap I mean if I can get it half the price of 55 so 25 30 somewhere around that price range I'm buying it loose and so I only need one sealed so I cancel I only I'm only pre-ordering one sealed so if I can find one anyway uh, so if I don't have it here I mean somehow I found another sealed one cheap and I found a loose one cheap but this is a tough year man it's really tough because uh, every other year I found all the Super 7 Ultimates somebody selling me like the whole wave for uh, half the price and I just can't find that anymore I mean it's it's hard I'm barely able to find anybody out there willing to let go of these things for half the price I don't know why the people that did did but I have theories on that which I will <laughs> divulge in future videos but is the scarcity really that scarce on these figures I feel like it might be by the way I'm gonna get this guy the, the SDCC one because uh, one of them is gonna open I think the SDCC one opens now we're into Thundercats. So this isn't the NECA Thundercats or the Playmates Thundercats or the Mattel Thundercats. This is the Super 7 because Super 7 is the only one making them. Like when you talk about Turtles, it's like best AXN Thundercats. That's not a thing yet. Well, could it be a thing? Maybe. Anyway, uh, Brian won't let it happen. So I would have done a review on this already, but Brian has not approved me for his review program, meaning he doesn't send me some stuff for free. And I want advanced copies brian i want to tell you and everybody else what i think of them which 99.9 percent .9 of his stuff is great now here they are next to the mattel i pulled them out of the thunder tank the mattel ones are in the thunder tank and most people like the super 7 more and i mean i see pluses and minuses to both but you know brian told me to review them so i guess i won't be reviewing them so it is what it is and I'm a little salty. Uh, I mean, you're going to see that come through, but Brian has not approved me to get some of these in advance to review them. But, you know, people that don't even care enough about the toy line to have one vintage figure at all get these and review them. So I think that's so whack and so out of touch as much as I think Brian is cool and does good stuff. So way out of touch. Anyway, toy versions. I got them. Toy Jaga. I've got to say that I like them both. They look great. Oddly enough, neither of these sold well. So, will we see more of this? We'll definitely see more of the Silverhawks. Next up, we've got Hachiman and Shiner. Again, I can do some comparisons to Vintage, and I can do reviews on all this stuff. I'm not going to. These shoulders, uh, folded arms, are just like one clip-in piece, and you clip the, the regular arms on. It's weird. It's cool. Now these, I've only bought one of each. Again, I'm waiting to find a deal somewhere, a sale to get an opener. So it may be six months, a year, two years, till I have one on my shelf. Because I have a sealed one, then I get an opener. However, I get an opener cheap for like half the price. It's how I do it. This is 2024 Mike collecting, bro. I can't collect this much stuff and spend ridiculous money on it. I mean, I have to do it on the cheap. And we've got these two here. Now, I did order two of each of these because I really believe that the Lunatacs are the greatest thing that they've done in this toy line, and uh, they've done a lot of great things, but these are the greatest things. The entire Lunatax will be the best. When it's looked back on 10, 15, 20 years from now, the Lunatax are going to rule dominant because they are the best thing made, because they were the best thing never made by LJN. Anyway, they look cool. I'm going to eventually open my extras and put them on the shelf. It's weird, though. Like, I didn't point this out, but some of them get the bag. Some of them don't. This, uh, one of them is like, uh, the bottom of it is all curled up. I don't understand the thought process on which gets a bag, which ones don't. I do not care at all about the slipcover, the brown box. In fact, I'm glad they don't put it on there anymore because now this is considered complete and I can actually look at them. All right, we're getting to Silverhawks. Now, let me just be... Totally honest. I think I like the Silverhawks the most. And I'm going to have a discussion about Ramen Toys and their going forward with their Titanium Titans. But that's for another day. These look phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I'm, I feel like it's a little dark for the silver. But I just don't understand the back metalized necessities and all that kind of stuff. She looks very bright. It looks fantastic. I'm 
I'm okay. If the color is slightly off, the chrome is that good. But I did buy an extra one right away, full price. And now pre-orders are back up at uh, BBTS? BBTS. And 65 bucks each. Here's the thing. If um, there's some games getting played. And I've got to make a whole video about these games getting played. Maybe that's why Brian doesn't want me to review his stuff. Because I'm going to be honest about all this these issues and stuff that are addressing us. But I'm, I, I don't think anybody else is more excited about these. I'm in on absolutely every single Silverhawk. Except I didn't buy a second Monstar because it just doesn't look as good as the first one. Now here's the toy version. Oh, I've got to say that um, this, is, this kind of gives you the feels. The... The yellow one was more accurate to the cartoon, I understand that. And this one is more accurate to the toy. And yeah, I had to pick it up. Uh, I think this one was 65 also. And then Monster is like 75 or 85 or something. I did not buy the Monster. I think that'll be on sale down the road. And if not, I can live without it. I mean, I've got the standard one. And I've got the, which I believe is superior. I think the, the Rama toy one is superior to Super 7 in the Monster department. But uh, this still looks really cool, exciting. It gets you in the feels. And I ordered a second set of these. So it has been a full three months since I got my first set of these in. And I did a video on that. But um, you can't see them because of the old style packaging. I felt they were the old style size quantity, meaning that they overproduced them, produced them in uh, higher quantities. And so this is Molecular, Mumbo Jumbo, Stargazer, and Hot Wing. Eventually I'll open them up and I got to get through processing and all this stuff. But... Uh, looking at which one has the best packaging, I keep sealed, and then the one that's the worst packaging, I open, and that's how I do it. One to open, one to keep sealed. But I can't find them cheaper anywhere. I, th I, I could have got, like, one or two of them at a time at Entertainment Earth and gotten, of course, some, uh, like, 5 or 10% off, 10% off there with one of the reviewer codes. The problem is that this stuff is actually getting hard to get maybe down the road there'll be a sell and everybody's holding out on their cells and stuff like that but 2024 is a tough year to navigate saving the worst for last here this is star wars black series one of the only black series thing i'll buy in full price and it's the Jordica destroyer Jordi. it looks amazing but box arrived damage and it was super ultra well packed so how did this damage happen so i am probably going to hey let me know in the comments below should i call BTS and say, hey, I had some damaged stuff and I need to be uh, something done about it. They're sold out at BTS. I saw this at GameStop and I got to tell you that I almost bought it. It was, it was cheaper at GameStop and I have the premium so I got 5% off and I probably could have used my $5 coupon on it. So it would have been way cheaper instead of 33 or something. It would have been like 26 and I should have bought it. But I was like, no, I've already ordered through, through BBTS and I've already canceled too much stuff and I don't want anything to happen to me. But screw it, dude. If I stop finding it in retail, I'm canceling BBTS because of this crap. I didn't expect this. They're usually really good about their shipping, but this is garbage. Um, I still would love, of course, BBTS. You know, I'd like some sort of affiliate program with you. I mean, I do a lot with you. Three items out of 100 is not a big deal to me, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. Let me know if you think I should call them up and get some reparations for that. This is the... Boba Fett thrown. Oh, no, this is the advance of the HasLab. They sent it to me to review. No, they did not. Hasbro does not like me at all. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Star Wars Vintage Boba Fett throne room playset. This was a $229 playset, which was on 35% off. You had the premium, which expires for me in a couple months, but after this next HasLab. $150 plus tax, is like $164, which is still a lot of money for it, but I, I feel like it is amazing. It's amazing. They did amazing work. And I think 150 is a reasonable price. 229 is just stupid. It's just dumb. Just don't even don't even put something out for that price anymore. Just go straight to the 150. Make it reasonable. But uh, I think it's a reasonable price for 150. Let me know what you think. And should I do something about that? All right. So I hope you enjoyed this and it helped you out a little bit. This is it's ultra exciting to me. It's a little surreal that all these things that have been pre-ordered for years are finally showing up and it's exciting it's fun i'm going to review some of this stuff it's going to be great but let me know if this was helpful to you if anything in here was helpful to you and what you're looking forward to seeing but let me know should i ask bbts to uh help me out with some of these damaged boxes <laughs> let me know in the comments below like subscribe to the hanger out
some magic. It would keep my hand in, and they could use the break, sir. Absolutely no go. You're part of a crack collection of cops, not a roadshow. Okay, Hot Wing, let's go quietly now. Why not go with a blast? The destruction of the last Silver Hawk. You'll have to wait a little longer.